Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Robert Snail. Welcome to my channel. For my next few tutorial, I'm actually working on the Christmas project. I think it is uh, almost uh, just one in, one month and two weeks away is Christmas time. Have you done all your Christmas card yet? If you haven't, I think you had better start now. So um, in the next few tutorial, it's just give you some idea um, what kind of Christmas card you can make. If you can send me one Christmas card, I will be very, very happy. So here's my shipping address and remember I'm still doing the car swap and uh, uh, you send me one car, I send you one car back. Maybe it's not a Christmas car. Okay, so today's video I am going to use or this week's special and make sure you check this week's special. I'm offer a great promotion and for you two viewers, I always have something special for you. So this week's special, we're going to have this Cornell Cross stamp set and matching die. To get a stamp and die cut, both of them is only for $39.99 plus free shipping. And if you order this, uh, this, uh, this week's special before November 15, I will include this winter time stamp set for free. This is our old design. I designed this stamp set in 2007. It doesn't have a matching die and it will not have a matching die. But I found out this stamp set can create a beautiful beautiful background just like the stamp just like the card that I made yesterday this is the project I work yet I well I worked yesterday and if you haven't got a chance to check it out make sure you check the tutorial 197 so what I'm going to offer today what I'm going to show you today that's started okay so Yesterday, uh, the tutorial 197, I was using this detailed Cornell stamp to create both Blue Jay and the Cornell. But today, I am actually going to use this shadow stamp and to show you how to create a mirror image. When you see this car, you can say, hey, does Lisa have both, uh, both, uh, both stamp that you can create a mirror stamp? No, I don't. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this one and then you don't need anything special. I'm actually going to show you how to use a DVD case to create the, uh, the mirror image. And I am going to sh um, show you how to use a, a stamp that I already have to do the mirror stamp image. And then I think it's a pretty interesting um, technique. You don't want to miss it. Before we start, I would love to share something special with you. So I just received this email from one of my customers. Is uh, her name is Deborah Moss. I hope you don't mind I share this with my view because I think it's so pretty. I haven't received the cards yet, but I can't wait to show you what she made for you. So look, Liz. She used uh, the. Uh, the same stamp set and look how beautiful this uh, um, 3D ornament she made. So I created a tutorial to show you how can you make a 3D ornament, uh, ornament, ornament? Ornament. And uh, I will put the, 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 the link if you like to check it out to create the, um, the 3D ornament and make sure you check that tutorial. But I just can't wait to receive this one. I already have a place for hanging this beautiful ornament. Ornament? You know what I mean. Okay, so that's the start today's video. And thank you so much, Deborah. I can't wait to receive this wonderful project from you. Okay, if you have been following Local King's YouTube channel, you probably already realized that I like to use the same stamp to create the, um, something totally different. So this is a Christmas project and I'm planning to um, to launch a few of the Christmas cards. And then, uh, so when I was kind of planning this project, I just uh, used uh, my die cut and then I kind of cut the two um, this uh, shadow image. This one? Okay, so I, I kind of like a die cut it and I kind of flip over and I say, ooh, that's kind of pretty, right? You don't have to do anything. You put a little bit glitter, put a car shape, uh, uh, like a heart shape die cut. I think that looks really pretty already, right? And then, so I asked myself if I can uh, manage to stamp the image on top. I think that will be even more prettier. So, and I was kind of, and then I was thinking, oh, this is something called a mirror stamp. So I did a little bit of research and I watched some of other people's video to learn how to 
create the mirror image or how to die cut the, Im in, uh, the mirror image. And then I don't know um, how about you, but about me, I really don't have a patient. So when I take a look at other people's video and then I, I, I realize I really have to keep my video short, even though I'm trying to share, um, share as much as information I can. But when I watch people's video, I just sometimes just say, come on, get to the point. I want to learn, you know, something. And then, um, so I did a few research and you would be amazed how many, like, a, like a, what can you learn from the internet? You basically can learn anything from the internet. So I watched a couple of a video and I found out a few of the, but they, they gave me some kind of idea, but I found out some of them is actually very complicated. You need this, you need that. So, and then for my viewer, I you know, I don't want you to spend too much money and doing the rubber stamping. If you have the budget, that's cool. If you don't have the budget, you sell my video and I use this and use that and you want to have all and it's kind of costly. So I decide to use something that I have and then um, like I have, I don't have to go to purchase something uh, because I want to create this mirror image. Okay, so I come up with the idea. I am going to use a DVD case. Um, uh, in my previous tutorial, I I was showing you how to use a DVD case to create a stamp positioner. If you have a stamp positioner, good for you. I highly recommend it. I think it's a good tool. If you don't have a stamp positioner, you can use a DVD case or you use a CD case. Because I want to create, I, I want to, uh, because we need to use these the big shadow stamp for restamping. So I don't think so DVD case uh, is going to fit. So um, I think you can find these, uh, check the, you know, use the, uh, use bookstore and then they have a lot of dvd probably just like 25 cents and then you you will get a dvd case or i'm sure everybody have a dvd case okay so just to get a dvd case if you have a stamp positioner um good for you but uh, just be very very careful okay because the thing that i'm going to show you is kind of like override the system i really don't want you to damage your your stamp positioner because i know they are kind of pricey if you have a cd case use your cd case but if you use a stamp positioner just be very gentle and i am going to um, explain to you because if you push too hard those hinges made with plastic they will break and that will be very painful and please note I am not responsible if you break you you broke your um, your stand position okay just be very careful I will explain to you which part you have to be very careful okay so next I did a little bit research. If you want to do the mirror re-stamp image, you got to have some kind of stamp. They call like a mirror stamp and they call the like a kind of flat stamp. I don't have it, but I really want to do a mirror image. So I go digging to my all my stamp image. I actually found out this uh, snowflake. So this is the snowflake background and then in the, it's called snowflake is R. R mean is they are reverse image. So what is a reverse image and also or um, this stamp, this stamp we're going to use today is also the called the reverse image. What is a reverse image? You can kind of tell on my left hand, these are words stamp, see all the stamp images raising up. And on my right side, this is a snowflake image, is a go in. So it's kind of like a solid image and all your, in, like a, your design is go in. So that's what they call the reverse image. So we're going to need this reverse image to helping us to um, reflect, um, reflect, uh, reflect like a like a mirror the stem image. So I'm going to show you how. Okay. Okay. So the first we are going to color or or stem image to create the like a the like a right direction one. And then I'm going to show you how to do the 
the mirror image. Okay, for this technique, um, for the regular card, like uh, the, the regular direction, you don't really have to worry about it. And uh, I am going to just fast forward how I coloring, and then I will um, come back to explain when we have to do the um, the mirror stamp image. This is something a lot of people already know. So I'm going to just fast forward it. If you like to get more information, I already have 100, almost 200 uh, videos ready to view. Just make sure you check the local kings online DVD library. You see the card you like, you just click card, they bring you to the YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm gonna do one blue gel and one corn nail, and I am using the local kings or water-based markers to color or stand. And I'm going to do the fast forward. Okay, here is my beautiful blue jay okay so detailed and look or die cut is right next to the stem image it doesn't have that big gap okay and then i use my die cut i just cut the two piece uh, um no uh no stem image cardstock okay just uh, just use a die cut cut the two piece and then the paper i use is the uh, Paper Cuts Macro Cardstock. You can find these Macro Cardstock from Paper Cuts uh, website. I will provide the website or from the Marcos. You can use a dull glossy if you have uh, uh, matte is good. Um, please take a look at the paper review. Here's the number and I did a review to tell to explain all different kinds of um, paper, which one is good for which one. And I found out those matte cold cards and the dark glossy cold cardstock, it just work well. If you use regular cardstock, the color is probably a little bit lighter fading. So you gotta use a good quality cardstock. You can use a glossy, but if you use a glossy paper, if only one side glossy, when you die cut it, you have to make sure you flip the paper, cut from the back because we're going to stamp it on the glossy part. But just use a, use a good regular card style, they will work just fine. And I highly recommend, my, uh, recommend the, these Marco card style. You can find it from Marcos or Paper Cut. Just use their search window, type uh, local King Robert stand, and then they will pop out the paper that I use. And they are US company, so um, the shipping is much cheaper than you purchase uh, from Canada. The shipping is just insane. Okay, so that's move back, uh, move to the next step, how to mirror the stamp. Okay, so I'm gonna use just a regular DVD case and it's very important to have a solar image. This is the snowflake R, 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 R that means a reverse stamp image. And I just did a little bit on research there is something on the internet they call the is it is it is it from the stamp dust is it called the uh, mirror stamping plate it's a four inches by 5.5 inches and it's uh, is around the twenty dollars. So if you want to order that, you can go to the Amazon and then you can order this one. What is this? This is just a, like a uh, this is a clear stamp. Um, personally. I don't really like a clear stamp and I found out if you use a clear stamp, the rate like a very simple shape is okay. But if you want to do the shadow stamp, um, the, um, I have to tell you this clear stamp is not going to work well on the, on the, with the shadow stamp. So if you have the stamp, for example, is like this, it's just like a very simple line. Okay, so you stamping on this uh, clear mirror stamp. Okay, it's okay. They will you will get uh, your outline. But if you want to use the shadow stamp, the shadow stamp like this, and the kind of image is very complicated. You got to have the um, the rubber stamp. So this rubber stamp is to have a snowflake image on the side. But because I don't have it, and then I am going to just use the middle. These are some few tiny snowflake. So you can have the snowflake, and I show you what it I did. Okay, so this is a snowflake. I just did the silver embossing, but uh, you can also use this snowflake as your mirror stamp. So please do note, okay, if you want to use a shadow stamp and that you purchase, uh, you purchase uh, that that mirror, uh, mirror clear stamp, 
is not going to work well on the shadows then i don't want you to order it and they come back say lisa it doesn't transfer it's not working if you want to use the shadows then you got to have a rubber and that i i didn't i, I don't know do they sell the rubber um, mirror stamp or not and uh, i don't know is this really high demand um we can make one but i don't just want to make one to just uh, you know storage then and that's going to be kind of a lot of trouble for us so why don't we just use someone we are something we already have and you can use as a snowflake you can use as a mirror transfer stamp too okay so i'm using a dvd case and then this is a cheap dvd case so so i don't have to worry about it if they crack or whatever i can always replace the other one if you have a misty or stamp positioner, if they are pricey, you got to very be uh, careful when you um, close when you want to stamp it. You don't want to force them push so hard. You just have to be gentle and protect your hinge here. Otherwise, they will be break for sure. Again, okay? it's very painful. So if you have a DVD case, just use DVD case. If you don't have a DVD case and you have a stamp position, you can use it. But just remember when you, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you do this because we kind of have to do something like this. And you can see they cannot be closed, right? Uh, that's what we want. But uh, you don't want to force, for, uh, force Put too much pressure here because it puts too much pressure here is going to crack for sure okay so that's do least so i'm going to do that and then if you have uh, if you purchase this shadow stamp okay because this is a shadow reverse image and i was using the uh verse um, mark so kind of sticky the first time when you use this shadow stamp i want to use i want you to use a cheap eraser kind of erase the surface okay so that way they will stamp much better only the first time and then you only do this when you have a rubber stamp you don't have to do this if it's a uh, um, clear stand and also same thing the shadow stand you also do that kind of just erase the first time and then it's going to help this stamp images image um, ink much better okay you need to have a piece of acetate and these acetate when you purchase the stamp they come with it okay what i'm gonna do is if you want to create a stamp positioner see here i have a cheap board and i kind of just put there to kind of raising the stamp image but because we want to we don't stamp on the paper we stamp stamp on the stamp so we don't really need this peak uh this piece of cheap board so i will provide the um the 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 video the number of video if you like to learn how to make a stamp positioner just make sure you check that video okay so i have uh, my um my my snowflake stamp here and then this is just big enough if you have like a regular stamp image like this is something flower just outline this is a perfect because it will ink well so i put my stamp here and i put my this stamp here because i want this stay in the middle on the side they kind of have some image i don't want that so i just put my stamp here and then close the lid so I, I'm sure it's going to be right there. Okay, have your acetate handy here and then you probably have to give a one or two try to, and I'm, I'm going to explain. We are going to color that, color them because the way we are transfer or ink from this stem image to this big block reverse image. So darker color work better. I am using a little bit darker color than usual. Okay, so I'm going to have my corn nail color here. So I'm going to use the, my markers. And I am going to just start with a little bit darker color. Just a little bit darker. Usually I to probably make a little bit orange and then a red. But this time I'm going to do more red. Okay, because it's kind of like a transfer, right? And then for the leaves, see i am going to use a darker green those markers are awesome just make sure when you color them you're going to keep your marker um, together don't try to color with a line we want to hiding that stroke okay so 
so like these and then we can do a little bit lighter color blending directly on the stamp just remember the color got to be a little bit darker take your time it dries a lot on the rubber so you have enough time and then um, in the beginning i was a like a kind of thinking because uh, when i do the research i take a look at other people's video most of the people they just do the outline stamp they didn't do the shadow stamp so outline stamp is easy because the 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 line is simple so that won't be a problem the problem is the shadow stamp how can we transfer the shadow to the rubber stamp and uh, transfer from the rubber stamp to the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna give a big black eyes, a little bit on the beak, some dotting here and there. Okay, and that's hoping this one will work well. Okay, so now I am going to just close my DVD case and then kind of just uh, push it don't have to push too hard okay see i transfer that image on this piece the big rubber stem right and then what's the next next i'm having my acetate here handy okay and then i use this reposition glue okay just put a little bit here and then you got to make sure that you use the reposition um, glue because if you use regular glue, you're going to have a problem to remove it. So this is our die cut. It's our die cut the right direction, right? And then when you put on that piece of acetate, you're going to flip over because we want to stamping on the, the other side. You will find that if it's wrong, they won't line up. Okay, so now because we have this acetate, we can hold it, right? And then you do your best. I can kind of pretty much see where is that image, okay? We do our best. So if this is the first time you try, we can just give it one or two time trying. It will work, okay? And then we just uh, use... Uh, my chubby finger, just rub, rub, and that's see what it look like. There you go. They kind of transfer. Okay, so this is my first time trying, and I found out if I can do a little bit even darker, they will work, uh, they will show even better. So let's just try one more time. Okay, so I color again, and this time I use even darker color. Before you do the color, maybe it's a good idea that you have your acetate, your die cut ready. So as soon as we, after we stamp that, we are going to kind of um, reverse the put on our uh, and stamping on our paper. Again, we're going to do that, and then going to push hard. You don't have to do too hard, okay? So that's pretty good. You can see the image there, right? And then we're going to use this piece of acetate, and remember, you got to flip the image. Okay, and let's see, kind of do this. Okay, kind of have to move a little bit. Okay, so you kind of do your best. Just try one or two times. It's going to work. Okay, put on top. Okay, this time I got to make sure that I rub all the image okay a little bit off the line it's okay it's a handmade handmade you know sometimes boo boo is like the cherry on top of the cupcake that make that car special that's what it looks like i think that's pretty good okay and that's do a little bit touch up and uh, that's it okay so that's my mirror image and what i'm going to do is i am going to give a little bit touch out so i'm going to use my mini magic mushroom in my previous tutorial i have been showing you how you can make your mini magic mushroom you can just use this mini magic mushroom kind of give a little bit touch out there is some white gap um you can just fit it out with your magic mini um mini magic mushroom so give a little bit touch out 
and then I think it just looks awesome. If you ask me, Lisa, do you think this is the best way to um, to get the stamp image? Um, probably not, but uh, I think that this is the most the easiest way. If you can do a little bit of research on the internet how to mirror the stamp image, they are is kind of confusing, and you got to have this, you got to have that. So this video, I just show you the most easiest way to do it without to have any fancy tool. But can you, I think that looks just awesome. And then the rest of them, we are going to just finish mounting on top. So I already did this background and I do a little bit change. So this one, my window, I just use the stamp set to kind of create some um, snowflakes but uh, I want to also show you this stamp image this uh, snowflake reserve, reverse image you can do a lot of things I think in my next few tutorial I'm going to show you again and uh, remember if you order this uh, this week's special the combo set you will get the winter time stamps for free and uh, I already show you in my last tutorial this is how I create the background and then we're going to just mount on top and see how pretty is that Ta-da! That's how I use the DVD case to uh, create the shot, uh, the mirror stamp image. And I think uh, it's a kind of interesting technique that you give a try, uh, you should give a try. And then I just use this new 3D dimensional glue to create those cute 3D glass finished eyeball. And I also um, add a few dots to um, decorate the berries. So you cannot really tell which one is mirror, which one is original stamp. I think it looks uh, pretty good just to give a little bit touch out. So which one you like the better? You like the snowflake or you like a pine needle background. So that's today's uh, tutorial and uh, remember if you are participate Local King's uh, first car challenge, I am waiting for your cars. Um, they I change it a little bit. You, they, it doesn't have a deadline. Just uh, send it to me if you think you cannot make it. But uh, you know what? I got a lot of cars to share. So we have a time. You, if you're still working on it, just working on it, send it as, as soon as uh, you can. And uh, once in a while when I receive 10, 15 cars, I will start to do the review. Okay, for the pre-order item, the good news is I have received most of the die cut. There is one box is missing. So we are already packing it and uh, and uh, we are on the schedule. Hopefully I will send the all the pre-order out in November 15th. That's right on our schedule. Maybe one or two days sooner. I really hopeful but is it here? Just one more box is missing and I will have them out as soon as possible. Okay here's for all you two viewers and thank you for for watching until the end of this video. If you write down, I love sausage, you will get at least a double Z corner die for free. That's $12.99. I will include this die card when you order this, uh, um, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, Carnail Crest stamp set. If you already have this stamp set, you order anything from our website, when you write down, I love sausage, I will include that, um, Dice set, the corner dice set as a, a little bonus from us. So this is Lisa from Local King Robert's Dan. Stay tuned and uh, see you soon. Goodbye.